The Lord's Resistance Army is a Ugandan rebel group that began in northern Uganda in 1987 and have carried out horrific atrocities against the people in northern Uganda and more recently across the region. Today, there is really almost no support for the Lord's Resistance Army in Uganda or elsewhere. It's a group that doesn't have any voluntary recruits anymore. It only is able to continue through the abduction of children. They target schools. Often when they attack villages, they look for the places where children might gather. It's children that they want for their combatants because they're easier to control. Across the region, people are so terrified of the LRA that they have fled to towns or to other places where they think they might be able to seek safety. As we went through the tiny villages, all we saw were deserted houses, deserted churches, deserted hospitals and health centers. It was empty. People were terrified. We now know that across northern Congo and in the Central African Republic that there's over 200,000 displaced people or refugees too scared to go to their fields, they're too scared to go to school. The impact of the LRA across the region is disastrous. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Senate 1067, an act to support stabilization and lasting peace in northern Uganda and areas affected by the Lord's Resistance Army. A law was proposed that was passed by the House and by the Senate earlier this year, and that was signed into law by President Obama in May of 2010 to deal with the problem of the LRA. Human Rights Watch have now carried out a number of missions to the LRA affected areas, and I think probably in Central African Republic, one in three people had an Obama t shirt. For them, Obama is their hero. They want him to hear their voices. Many people had personal messages that they had for President Obama and they want his help.